Hello, Heather Nobles here with Simplify Design and the Veterans Freedom Festival. We're going to be having um, a festival here in Westminster, South Carolina on August the 12th, 2023. It's going to be from 1 until 10 and we're going to have a lot of fun things going on. Um, and one of the things I'm most excited about is our kids activity area. Um, and today I am interviewing a special person to the community. She does so much to help out um, wherever she can. She's always, always busy and helping. Um, also has her own family and she does um, South Carolina, up, upstate South Carolina get snacked. And she's gonna be helping with the Veterans Freedom Festival to have a kid area. Um, and like we've been saying with this event, we want everyone involved and the children are super important. So we're excited about that. I'm gonna let, her name is Brandy Brockman, and I'm gonna let her tell a little bit more about herself and her organization. Hey guys, I am Brandy Mons Brockman. I run Upstate SC Get Snacked. We are a nonprofit here in Westminster. We focus on one to two free events a month for the children and their families. Uh, we offer free events, we do snacks, games, toys, we do tickets. Everything would be for the entire family. Amazing. It is. It is. It started off in 2020 with COVID. So. Well, I think it's wonderful what you do because the kids are underserved at events a lot of times and there's nothing for them to do. And the parents don't want to, we don't want to bring our kids somewhere where they're not going to have a good time. Right. So it, it's key to bringing people out and getting the community out here for um, the Veterans Freedom Festival and the other festivals, Rock Westminster, Bigfoot, um, uh, the uh, Music on Main, yes. all of it. I mean, incorporating that in is how you get more people out. And getting more people out, just it's more fun. The kids are interacting, the businesses are, um, profiting from that, um, more exposure, more revenue for the town. So it's extremely important. And obviously the kids in this generation sometimes are not engaging enough. Um, a lot of screen time. Parents are busy. We're working. We don't mean to. But they're not getting as much interaction with peers. So I'm making a, a way where they can do that. And even if they don't have money, they don't have to go beg mom for $10.00 but all my friends are getting a snow cone, we don't have any money. They have something they can get, even if they may not be able to afford extras. And that's big. And they're your future. The children are your future. The more they get involved as children, the more they'll be involved as adults, the bigger impact they have on your community. Exactly. I mean, they are our future, and it's amazing that we can have events like these and get them out and get them engaged a little yes. bit more, not just because, I mean, at school, they're sitting all day, when, even when school's in. Um, our kids are just not having the opportunity to do that as much as I think that the generations before did. So thank you for what you do. Yeah. Um, it's wonderful. I know that you guys do something cool I heard about earlier, which is the Santa shop. Do you want to tell yeah. us a little bit about that? This is my heart. This is one of the biggest things that uh, we do. It's our biggest undertaking so far. Uh, in December, we host a free Santa shop. Children are invited in without having to qualify. So it's a non-discriminatory in any fashion. There's no no money. There, everybody, it's amazing. Everybody can come. And they're invited in, and we let them shop for free for their entire family. Anybody in their household. Yes, they get it wrapped, and then we name tag it and package it for them so it's ready to go completely under their tree. They get no help from anybody else and it's all a surprise. They get to give that giving feeling. They get it. They get to have that right, feeling. Right. It's just, it's amazing to me. They get to see Santa. They'll get a free train ride. Um, oh. We have face painting and generally we have a live brand. Awesome. All well, there. thank you so much for what you do volunteering. Um, and thank you for so much for what you do, caring about your community, um, for music, for veterans at this event, for the kids. It all works together, and we couldn't do any of these things without people like you that are willing to go that extra mile and really have a heart for it. And like you said, them being able to go and pick out and give, that's huge for their character. That will go with them forever, and that's a chance they may never get otherwise. So I just think that's amazing. And, Super awesome that you do that, and I really appreciate you being willing. 
you know, as, as, I, as we took this festival on with Simplified Design, um, when I heard that you were willing, hey, I'm gonna do this, and you just were gonna do it. It was amazing to me, it was very touching. I'm so thankful for you because we can't do everything. Not one person can't do everything. So having someone that's like, hey, I'm really good with kids, I'm gonna come in and help you with this, is a huge relief, and I know you'll do a great job because you'll, you're the best at it. Um, if there's anything you wanted to say about Westminster, um, why you love the city of Westminster, um, and why you choose to um, raise your family here and all that good stuff, that would be helpful to the people maybe coming in to know. Uh, yes, it's a kind of sad story, actually. Uh, we moved here when my oldest was 16 months old. We came out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, we came, we were a one income family and we moved into a house here on a handshake. You can't do that anywhere else. It mm. was literally a handshake. Uh, we yeah. paid the first month's rent over the course of the next three months once my husband's job got started. And uh, it, that's, I mean, that really started it. Uh, we moved up with that same lady. As we made more money, she would put us in a different home and just nice kind of grew thing. with us. And the town has grown on me. So yeah. we came from where we had nothing. And I always said if I could, I would. But I wanted it here. Because this is where a heart got opened up for me. I want it for everybody else. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. And we feel the same. I definitely felt like we were, the creator drew us here, the light, the good. Yes. Um, it was it just we like in any other scenario it wouldn't have worked unless it was definitely yeah. not me and, and it, it had to be here. So I, I hear that a lot um, from people that haven't, all, maybe they weren't born here. Um, but I think it's just, a, there's a spirit of love and light um, in Westminster and I'm excited to be able to have this festival here. I'm thankful the city's letting us do this. Thankful for you. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't cover before we wrap up? No, just bring your kids out guys. Follow us. We are loud and proud of what we do. We want you involved. It's free. Everything yeah. that she's doing, everything that we're doing, it's free. Come, come play. <laughs> yeah, come have fun. Um, we can't wait to see you there. And remember to subscribe, spread the word, share. You're helping us just by doing that. Thank you again, Brandy, for coming in. And we'll see you with another interview soon.